First of all, well uh, done to that lovely passenger who was behind uh, that horrible, insidious man. And uh, Delcy is getting very upset just watching that, and, and naturally enough, Carol, because, you know, you brought her on the plane, she, got, she was pre-boarded because of her arthritis and she can't uh, move. You got her this seat, and when did you all realise something was wrong? When, was it, when did it get really bad? Um, I heard a noise. I'd just, on my way to the toilet, been busting to go. And I heard my mum. I thought, that's my mum. So that's when I come running down and was raised my voice at the gentleman, like, give her time. And he's saying, she can't move, she can't... You know, I want to get through. And I was like, well, give her time. And when the stewardess, the flight attendant came, I thought it was dealt with and that's it. So I thought, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. So I just ran back to the toilet. I didn't hear anything, didn't know anything until two hours after the flight, I was shown a tape. So while you were, had gone to the loo, um, Delcy, this continued. So. This man had been trying to get past you to get to his window seat. And you, very you couldn't abusive. move you couldn't you've got no. what, what happened next when, when Carol had gone to the loo? Well, he on. came up because... And he said, can you move? Let I go and sit down. I said, OK, give me a bit of time. Don't shout. He said, when I say move, move I said, you are to move. And he was shouting at this Yes, point. he was shouting. I won't be sitting beside him. So I didn't say anything. So he was there shouting. I did say something. I'm not going to deny it. I said, mm. you smell. I did say that, and that's all. Mm. And he was there abusing me. I didn't say anything. So the assistant came up and said, we have to move this lady now. Enough. Stop it. Mm. Stop it. Stop it. He said, I do what I want to do. Move her. So when he asked to move and he said, you have to move this lady, and the gentleman was over the other side filming, he turned and said, take him off the plane, take him off the plane, take him off the plane. And he said, that is enough, stop it now. And so he, he stopped at that He point. didn't stop, he, he said, didn't. move her. If you don't move her, I'll carry on. So when he moved me, he turned to him and said, are you OK now? He said, yes, I'm satisfied. She's gone. So how, how did all that make you feel at that point? I, I mean, it's, it's awful watching it, Delcy. It's absolutely awful. Have you suffered any racial abuse before in your life? No. I go Canada, I go Jamaica. We travel, I've never. This mums, is my first. Mum's worked 20 odd years as 25 a, years. 25 years her. as a care assistant. Mm. She's worked with all nationalities, all genders, never any description dis, discretion against anybody. Never. When you're a kind, caring woman, as we can tell yeah, from the job yeah. and the profession um, that you had. And you were there um, in Barcelona, you went to Spain. Um, for three days. For three days? Yes. And, and why did she go, Carol? Um, Mum's been feeling really low and depressed. It's coming up to a year of my dad's death. I'm so sorry I to hear that. I'd take Mum away to lift her spirits for a few, just a little mini break. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lovely time. So this... Besides the weather, we had a lovely time. And to come back to finish off with this, that was horrible. He should be taken off. I was shocked. I called all the flight attendants and there was only one there dealing with me. I think there's about four on the plane. I, I was totally shocked. But they said they didn't hear any racial abuse. When I asked the gentleman, he said, I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. He said, I never heard anything. And then the, um, I think he's in charge, the head attendant, I don't know, pilot. He, he said, I'd heard I was told about something, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it was serious. Right, what I want to know next, you can see a blind man and a galloping horse can see what went on there. Um, you know, we were able to witness that and there are cabin crews standing there in attendance. Uh, poor mum, when she's undergoing this abuse, whether they heard it racially or not, what did they then do? Because if I had been cabin crew and let's say the decision was made, we couldn't take the guy off the plane, I immediately would have looked at this lady and I would have thought, let me take her and look after her somewhere in the plane. Let me swap, get someone to sit in that seat, let me move her as far away Felt, as possible. No, from we were just on the other side. They weren't interested in, in, no. in moving. She was, well, on the video you hear mum say, I would like to move next to my daughter. Yeah. I didn't hear 
anybody else offering to move, you know, her. I just heard my mum ask to be moved near my daughter and, and I was sitting on the other side. Yeah, he so shouldn't have even been in your eye line for the rest of that yeah. flight. Now, Ryanair um, will, will basically say, we've reported this to the police in Essex, this is not a police matter, we can't comment further. They choose, Ryanair, you choose not to comment further. As usual, you have a reputation of treating your passengers with complete contempt, and this is a terrible example of it, it has to be have said. They been in touch you could, with you? Ryanair, say to us this morning, uh, this is our side of the story, this is what we understood, we apologise for what went on, but you choose not to speak. That is the difference. And the sad thing about all of this, Carol, is that it is an offence which happened in Spain from a company that is registered in Ireland, being investigated by an English police force. The result will be nothing will happen. I will tell well, you I've that now. I've had the police co contact us yesterday. Um, by Thursday, they should be coming to see Mum for a statement. statement. Yeah. What, what, do you, what would you like to see happen? <sighs> Mum, what would you like to see? Well, I'll let you do it because I'm so depressed and upset. He should be charged. With racial abuse? Yes, for racial abuse, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, the technicality is going to be where they charge him, who's got the jurisdiction. That's, that's going to be the problem with, with all How of this. How has this all left you feeling, Delcy? Very low. I was so frightened. I was very frightened. Mum was already feeling low because of Dad. And now with Ryanair, this has made her feel even more low. More depressed. Would more you low. fly with them again? No, Never. this is the first. Ne they could be giving it away for two pence. Never. Yeah. Never. A an apology would have cost and, you and, very little, and, Ryanair, but um, um, there's another dissatisfied customer who will not travel with you. A public ap apology to Mum is what we would like. Staff some training mm -hmm. to deal with situations like this again. Well, Delcy, the problem is in yours. I'm sorry that you have suffered it. Obviously, the man who hurled out that abuse, uh, there's something seriously wrong with him. Um, and uh, I suppose in the days and weeks uh, that will come, he will have to account for that when they identify who can he I, is. Can I just say thank you to all the support we've been getting for Mum? Really just want to say thank you.